Well, hello friends. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this week I am doing a video about how I make it. Well, I, it's basically a fake chicken sandwich, fried chicken sandwich. Okay. So, uh, it's made with tofu and, uh, it's a, uh, if you're trying to go meatless, it's a, it's a good proximity to a fried chicken sandwich and it's much healthier. So, um, I hope you give it a try. Um, always remember that these, uh, like tofu recipes like this are never going to be exactly the same as the real thing. So this is just, if you're trying to be healthy, you're trying to go meatless, this is a good substitute. So give it a try and I hope you like it. All right. So we, first we start off with, uh, for, four blocks of firm pressed tofu, tofu and I slice them well I cut them into slices like this make it however thick or thin that you want and uh, after I slice them I'm lining them up on a uh, cookie sheet that is lined with paper towels because no matter how firm and uh, the uh, packaging says the tofu is it's still going to contain a lot of uh, liquid in it so what i'm doing is i'm slicing them putting on, them on the paper towels and uh well you'll see what happens next Okay, now that those are sliced, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of paper towels over top of those. And uh, when I do that, I will also place another cookie sheet on top of uh, both of those trays. Um, what you're going to be doing is adding some weight to the top of it to try to squeeze some uh, liquid out of the uh, blocks, uh, slices of tofu. Just add whatever you have in your pantry on top. It, it, and it doesn't have to be a whole lot of weight, just um, enough to just add some pressure. And when, after I let it uh, press out for two, hours and when i'm done i take everything off and i make sure to preheat your oven to 425 de degrees and uh yeah so the, unload everything and uh, the paper towels will be uh very moist and that's a definitely definite sign that you squeezed out quite a bit of uh water from the tofu Next on uh, the uh, other cookie sheets, uh, spray with uh, some uh, nonstick spray. Um, and Okay, so next I'm gonna season the tofu slices. Slice so I, I can keep it simple with uh, some salt. Um, next, I add the um, black pepper. And then smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so next I'd like to uh, massage the spices into the tofu and uh, then I will flip the slices over and season the second side. Right next I set up two plates and one plate I uh, add uh, whole eggs to it because uh, we're making a dredging station um, so in this uh, I am only using eggs and breadcrumbs but uh, traditional dredging stations include a coating of flour Okay, sorry for the ramble there, but uh, next is just Italian style breadcrumbs and uh, add it to the plate. And just like anything else, you want to season it. So uh, both the eggs and the breadcrumbs. So I will be adding salt and black pepper to uh, both plates. Next, you'll just grab each slice and cut it in egg. Get the excess, so let the excess drip off and then do your best to coat the uh, tofu in the breadcrumbs. Um, really uh, pat it in to get a nice coating. Okay, so once they are all coated, I like to spray on some more oil over the top to help it brown. Put the oven preheated to 425. I add the two trays uh, to the warm oven and I uh, will be baking them for 30 minutes until they are golden brown. All right, so they should be ready and nice and golden brown. And uh, the breading is nice and crunchy. Uh, what I like to do is make sandwiches out of it, out of it. so I would toast uh, a ciabatta roll and uh, use it, whatever condiments that you're filling up to. Uh, add some lettuce and tomato and some cheese and there you have it.